Hey guys, so it's about time we uh, continue on with decluttering. I need to uh, spend this this year using up a lot of products and decluttering a lot of products and um, yeah. So I actually decluttered these <laughs> a couple of months ago now. I think it was like November. Oh, it's been a while, uh, but I haven't really had a lot of time to um, film videos, film any new videos, and especially declutter these or like get them out. Um, and I don't even know how this is going to go. Basically, I'm just going to be showing you the things that I'm getting rid of because um, I'm not going to swatch all these. I can't uh, with Oliver here. Oh, and he's like, he's getting into the lipsticks now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so yeah. So this is a lipstick declutter. I went through um, and I got rid of anything that was expired, anything that smelled bad, <laughs> uh, anything with colors that I wasn't going to be using. Um, so I have a throwaway pile and then I have a to find new homes for a pile. So I'm gonna, Oliver's occupied with my to find new homes for a pile. So he dumped them out and is putting them back in the box. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the ones that I'm going to be throwing away. So I'm going to be throwing away all of these Axiology samples. Um, I have done multiple Axiology videos, I think like five or six at this point now, um, swatch videos over the last couple of years. And, um, oh, give me that. And um, I'll keep that. And these little samples went off really, really quickly. Um, the, the Axiology formula is probably the most precious formula I guess that I have because it's it's the one that I do find goes off the quickest out of any other lipstick formula that I have so you'll see there's actually quite a few Axiology lipsticks in here so I'm getting rid of a bunch of these samples and then I am getting rid of um, quite a few full sizes we've got five so Fundamental is actually my oldest Axiology lipstick um, it was my very first Axiology lipstick which would equate oldest um, it's their like red color. Um, that is one, it isn't one that I would rebuy, um, but I did enjoy it. Attitude is their hot pink, which is probably like my favorite or second favorite next to Vibration. Um, I do have a replacement of that, but that one started to go off. Noble also was my second oldest. I got that one after Fundamental. I do have a replacement for that one. Philosophy is sort of like their matte, like pink color. I didn't really enjoy this that much, um, so I think I only used it in the swatch video. So that's not one that I would rebuy. And then Virtue um, is also one of my older older ones. It's like an orange, it's one of my favorites. And um, I do have a replacement for that one. So I didn't use them all the way up, um, but I do, I do wanna try to do that. I do wanna try to use a lipstick all the way up. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it this year, but we'll see. Um, I'm getting rid of a couple sort of like chapsticky things, I guess. I've got the All Natural Face uh, Vegan Lip Balm in Organic Peppermint. Just never used that. I think it came in a subscription box. Um, this is the Aster and Bay Beetroot and Hibiscus Lip Stain. Again, I never used this, and now it just smells bad. Um, I forget where I got that one, too. I've got a couple of these Jopa Minerals Lip Twists. They're sort of like tinted lip creams, I guess, or something. Um, I did enjoy these, but I didn't use them that much, and um, I think I got these before I was like really into lipstick. So I, once I found and discovered lipstick, I sort of was like done with things like this. And it's the same with the Pacific, the Pacifica Color Quench Lip Tint. Just never used that once I discovered lipstick. And then um, I've got the French Girl Mineral Lip Tint in Cerise. This one came in a Petit Vore box. This one doesn't actually smell bad, but um, it is one of like my oldest things in here. So I'm just going to throw it away. Um, I have a lip gloss. It's the Well People Lip Gloss. It's just the clear gloss. Again, it doesn't smell bad, but it's one of my oldest things, and a lip gloss, I don't really want to pass on to anybody else. <laughs> um, I have the Inica lipstick in Naked Kiss. I thought I was really going to like these Inica lipsticks, but then when I got a couple, the colors were just like not flattering, and the formula is very, very soft on these. Um, so this one broke, as you can like tell, it's all crooked and kind of gross. Um, so I am just going to throw that away, um, and I think I have the other two actually in my other declutter pile or maybe I have one in there one I ended up actually liking the color of so I kept one um, and then I've got four of the Pacifica lipsticks three of the devotion lipsticks Oliver keeps opening the lipsticks uh, and then one of the power of love lipstick 
<laughs> this was such a bad idea with him awake. Um, thank you. Now he's going to hand them to me. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so yeah, so I did a video on the declutter mint of these and um, I can link that down below if you want to see the swatch video and um, but yeah, these are old so I'm getting rid of these. So these are, thank you, you're such a good boy. So these are all of the lipsticks uh, that I will be throwing away, lipsticks, lip glosses, lip butter things, whatever. So I'm going to give, thank you, I'm going to give this one to Oliver. Okay, so here is the lipstick pile that I'm going to be getting rid of, but I'm going to be finding new homes for these because these are all still good. Um, most of them I've only just swatched. I haven't even, like, worn most of them. Oh, jeez. Uh, Oliver just wants to open up everything. This is going to be fun. Um, okay, so I've got... Let's start with these. Let's start with the Axiology Lip Crayons. So... These are um, a newer product. I did swatch these last year, and I wasn't going to be getting rid of these, but she actually emailed me and told me that they've changed the formula a little bit, um, and she offered to send me uh, replacements for these, because I guess what the thing is, is the... I did notice that they do get kind of, like, bumpy. These are the very first, like, iteration. Um, they do... The formula gets kind of bumpy. I don't know if it's, like, the coconut oil or whatever is in here, but it, it solidified funny. Um, and, um, after a while it got kind of, like, rough and bumpy. So, they are still totally usable, and I will find somebody to, uh, rehome these two. But she offered to send me some new ones, and I was like, that's fine. I can, I'll take the new ones that, um, don't have that problem, and then I'll just rehome the other ones. So, I do have all six of the lip crayons that I will be rehoming. Um, I have the Beauty Counter Lip Shear in Petal. This one came in the, uh, Beauty Heroes box. I think it was almost two years ago now. Um, that came with like the, the Beauty Heroes or the Beauty Counter lip, not lip, uh, body butter as well. Um, I, I find that, that that was kind of like the strangest Beauty Heroes box, I think. Um, I really usually praise everything that Beauty Heroes does, but I feel like the Beauty Counter collaboration was sort of like the weirdest one. Um, even at the time, it didn't really make that much sense to me. Um, but so yeah, I, I, know, I think I only used that like once. Um, it's still good. I'm just going to find somebody to uh, rehome it to. So I have some lip lip glosses. Let's start with the uh, Red Apple Lipstick Lip Glosses. I think these are these should still be okay, but I don't know that I'm going to be able to find anybody who would want them. Yeah, they still smell fine. Um, these are, I think, from one of their winter collections. They're Twinkle Toes and Kissy Fit. Um, these are probably, like, my least favorite Red Apple Lipstick colors ever. They're, like, a weird frosty frosty color. I don't know. I don't know that these were much of a fan with anybody, and they might have... I don't know if they've been discontinued or not, but they're very frosty, which I don't like in lip products. Um, it's why I didn't really like the Annika lipsticks, because they were kind of like frosty. Um, so I am going to be finding um, new homes for these. Generally, I keep all of my Red Apple lipstick stuff, but those two were just like total misses for me. I never used them apart from the swatch video, and uh, I'll see if I can find anybody who will want them. <laughs> um, and then I've got two lip products from 100% Pure. I've got the Gemmed Lip Gloss in Moonstone and the Lip Caramel in Ganache. I believe I won these in a giveaway. And the minute that I opened them, I knew that I was like never going to use these because they are just so... They're so sickeningly sweet and like highly fragranced. I don't know what they put in these to make them smell like that, but I just... I opened them, I smelled them, and I closed them. I've never worn them. I've never used them. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to find somebody who doesn't mind those. Again, I don't know if they've discontinued those. I know 100% Pure was discontinuing a lot of their products and like reformulating and bringing new products out. So I don't know if that's something that's still available or if it's been discontinued. Um, so yeah, so here is the other Inica lipstick. This is the, the lipstick in Flushed. I thought I was going to really like this because it's like a pink color, but as you can even see in like the, uh, the viewfinder, it's like very frosty and I'm not, I'm not into that at all. So Gonna be finding a new home for that. Um, I've got the New Evolution lipstick in Delish. I do like this color, but I actually have a 100% pure lipstick that is exactly the same color. I swatched them both, they are identical. Um, this one has beeswax and the other one doesn't, so I figured I would just keep the, uh, the vegan one and find a new home for this one. So I do like that color because I do have a, um, I do have 100% pure in that color exactly. Play with all these, please don't play with the camera. Play with those. So yeah, okay, let's try to move on as fast as we can. 
So I have a couple more of these sort of like tinted lip butter products. These are from Everyday Minerals. These are like a different formula than the ones I originally swatched on my channel. These came in like an eye kit that I bought. I really liked the eyeshadows, but I did not like these. They're way stickier than the original formula. I didn't like the colors. I don't wear products like these, so I did swatch one of them. The other one is still un unopened. I did swatch this one and I did not like it, so I will be finding new homes for those. Oh, here comes Oliver. Say hi. Say I want to be on camera. I want to be on camera. Oh, I just want to squeeze your superhero. So this is the Satin Lip Cream in Blush. I just um, did not enjoy the formula. I didn't enjoy the color. I'm trying to show you what Oliver is making that extremely difficult. It's kind of almost like that lip sheer um, from Beauty Counter. It's like almost exactly the same color. Um, I just did not, I didn't enjoy that. I have this lipstick from Terry Miyahira in Brave. Um, I was receiving the Terry Miyahira boxes for a while, um, but then she stopped sending them to me. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but uh, this is like her very first lipstick formula. It was a very sheer formula. I don't think I, sw I might have swatched it like on the back of my hand. I know I never wore it on my lips. It looks unused, but I can't really remember. Um, but it was very, uh, what I saw from other people's posts was it's a very sheer formula. So I just wasn't, I wasn't into it. Um, so I just decided to go ahead and uh, get rid of it. Let somebody else use it. <laughs> Um, I've got some lipstick samples. I have the Modern Mineral Lip Gloss Sample. Uh, it's the Bee of Love, I think. Um, the Beauty by Britney collab. And then I've got some Red Apple lipstick samples that I've been hanging on to that I should just like pass along to somebody who might want them. So I've got Ooh La La, Kiss on the Chic, Firecracker, and Brazilian. I know I have at least two of these in full sizes. I can't remember if I have all of them or not, but I'm just going to go ahead and pass those along. Um, a couple other uh, samples. I've got the All Natural Lipstick in Innocence and then the All Natural Lipstick in Sangria. Um, I don't think I've used either one of these. No. And I've got full sizes of both now. Yeah, I don't, they don't look, they don't look touched. So I've got those samples as well. Um, one other uh, Red Apple Lipstick thing I've got is the Dusty Rose uh, Lip Pencil. The, I like the color of this, and I actually believe this is actually going to be coming in the, um, the, the next Petit War Box for March, I think. Um, but when I sharpen this, it like destroys the pencil. So it looks like I've used a bunch of it, but I have not. Um, it's just because every time I sharpen it, it like, the pencil goes down. So um, I will find somebody who does not, ma uh, that doesn't matter to them. Um, but I think, I do believe everybody's going to be getting it who gets Petit War next month. So I don't think think the pencil is any different, but I, I hope that the pencil that I get um, from Petit Vore is better than that pencil because I did like the color, it's just I got so annoyed with the pencil. Um, I've got a couple of other all natural things. I've got two of the lip satin lip creams or uh, lip sustain, lip stains. Um, I have Crushed Bloom and Going Rogue. These are just two colors that I know I'm never going to use, so I, I wore them in the swatch video but um, I haven't worn them aside from that because this is like a very like light corally pink color and this is just sort of like a darker I don't know they were just colors I did not like on myself so I am getting rid of those and then again video uh not video but um colors from a swatch video <laughs> he wants to nurse now I gotta speed this up because he's ready for a nap anyway um I've got four of the all natural lipsticks um, the Eternity Lipsticks, I've got Cora, Marrakesh, Primrose, and Ruby. Just again, colors I'm not going to be using, so I would like to give them to somebody um, who will enjoy them. I've got two uh, of these Luke Beauty Food, whatever these are. They've uh, This is Pink Juniper and Vanilla Chocolate. Some of their colors do contain Carmine, but these two don't. They were just two colors that I didn't like on myself. They're sort of like a tinted lip balm almost. And I know that they've repackaged them since I received these ones. They're in like a much more sort of like luxe, sturdy packaging now. Um, but yeah, so I'm getting rid of those two. And then I have the lipstick in Dollhouse Pink from Zuzu Luxe. I used this in a lipstick, or not a lipstick, a uh, Valentine's Day tutorial from like two years ago, but I've, I haven't used it since then. <laughs> Um, and then I have an unopened um, lip glaze in rose petal. I've considered keeping this because I do like the color, but um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and pass it along to somebody else. So that is all the lipstick that I'm decluttering. Here is all the ones that will be finding new homes. And then here is everything that will be 
cleaning the garbage can and um so yeah, so I do still have a lot of lipstick. I'm not gonna lie, I have a ton of lipstick. I do still have a couple of formulas that I will be doing swatch videos at some point this year, um, and then I'll probably be decluttering uh, those. Um, but I do like to keep my lipsticks. Again, I, they don't go bad that often. I've still got a lot of 100% pure lipsticks that they claim go bad after six months, but I've had them for a lot longer than that. Um, so I gotta go, so. <laughs> um, once I figure out what I'm going to be doing with these lipsticks. So yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, I think I'm going to leave a little note down below about, I have a Facebook page, but I don't use it. It's basically just for Instagram. Um, so if you guys are interested in like anything that I declutter, um, it's possible I might just like post things on my Facebook page. So I'll leave that link down below in case you're interested and because um, I sort of want to go to you, to you guys. So. Anyway, I will leave that all listed down below, but I gotta go. So I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.